Peace to minds. Welcome to Montauk Avenue. And I welcome all of my Montauk Avenue family. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And I welcome you to join the Montauk Avenue family and subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos. And today I wanted to create a recipe for weight gain. I know it's that time of the year where a lot of us are seeking for weight loss, but there are some people, of course, that are seeking to maintain or gain weight. And in that case, I definitely wanted to share a lovely, simple recipe that you can make with ingredients that you can find at your local health store, farmer's market, grocery store, your garden. So today I am going to make a weight gain smoothie because you know at Montauk Avenue, I love me a good smoothie. <laughs> and the recipe that I am going to create today will consist of the following ingredients. I'm going to use some water and some hemp seeds. You can use milk. I would recommend you can use, since it's a weight gain smoothie, you can use maybe half and half, half of some coconut milk and half of some almond milk or your favorite non-dairy milk. And uh, yeah, coconut milk definitely has a lot of calories, of course. And you can definitely decide what works best for you. And since I do not have no non-dairy milk right now, I'm just going to use the water with the hemp seeds. And I will leave the recipe in the description, of course, so you can see the measurements that I'm using. And the next ingredient that I'm going to use is sunflower seed butter. You can use your preferable seed or nut butter that you would like. And I am going to use some cocoa powder. I have a cocoa protein that I use, a vegan protein, a non-dairy protein, a plant-based protein. So that's what I'm going to use for my cocoa powder. And then it has a lot of protein in it, so that's great. And you could also add, you know, cacao. For this recipe today, I'm still going to add a little bit of cacao because I like the way that it balances out the taste when I put in the next ingredient, which is avocado. I'm going to be using some avocado. And in this recipe, you could definitely use frozen avocado if you want. And right now it's room temperature, but I did uh, freeze it earlier. So, <laughs> and I'm also going to use some walnuts. And you know, you can decide. Maybe you want to use peanuts. I, you know, the good thing about a lot of the recipes that I do, you can substitute things. You know, you'll learn along the way what works for you. I love almonds and walnuts and uh, pistachios and sunflower seeds, you know. I love a lot of different seeds and nuts. I'm also going to be using some dates for this recipe. And I'm probably going to use about three dates, you know, with smoothies, of course, as you are probably already know. You can decide if you want to substitute, maybe you rather use bananas. Bananas are definitely very common to put with avocados. You know, maybe you want to use two dates and, you know, one small banana or a little bit of a banana. But for me, I do not want the banana with the avocado. I would rather have just the dates. Okay, so now we're going to put the ingredients in. I'm going to take the water and I'm... Um, 
and I'm putting about 10, I think it's about 10 ounces of water. Putting my dates, my three dates. And I am going to take my hemp seeds. I'm probably going to use about maybe like two tablespoons of hemp seeds or maybe one, you know. Remember at Montauk Avenue, we eyeball it over here, okay? So. And then I'm going to take some of my cacao. And then I'm going to take my cocoa protein powder. <laughs> and I am going to take my avocados. And I'm going to take my lovely walnuts. Then I'm going to take my sunflower seed butter. I think this is, I think it's almond butter or sunflower seed butter. I don't know. <laughs> and this is about two good tablespoons of sunflower seed butter. And we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to take a little bit of cinnamon. I love the smell of cinnamon. It's just... Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and blend this lovely waking smoothie that has sunflower seed butter and hemp seeds and water and walnuts and avocado and some cocoa and cacao protein and protein powder and so yeah so let's blend it up okay and I have my big smoothie cup okay so now here we are with our lovely weight gain smoothie and I have to admit I had some of this earlier and I'm going to save this for a little later. But I can definitely assure you that it is nutrient dense and it is filling and it tastes very, you know, it's, it's very, it tastes chocolatey and creamy, of course, because of the avocados and, you know, it's, it's a lot of nutrient density. You have the walnuts. And you have the hemp seeds. You have a lot going on in here. And so, but I definitely, if you want to have a nice, healthy, you know, nutrient-dense way of gaining weight gaining or maintaining weight, you definitely will benefit from this, especially if you want it to be plant-based. I wish you continued blessings and abundance and love and peace. And as always, be true to yourself. Peace divines.